This was meant to be a super Sunday for politics because you had the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, you had uh, Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi all delivering important speeches. Who won the battle for the speeches? Let's be clear, when it comes to oratory, Rahul and Sonia are no match for Narendra Modi. He's a natural speaker. So purely on the oratory question, Modi won this battle hands down, not surprisingly. But at the same time, I sense that this time Mr. Modi was a little bit on the defensive, where he constantly seemed to target the media, where he constantly seemed to blame someone else for this perception that his government was pro-rich and anti-poor. And it almost seemed as if Mr. Modi was upset that we were not giving him enough credit for the achievements of his government. So from that perspective, I got a sense that Mr. Modi for once was allowing almost his critics to set the agenda when he kept on referring to uh, the fact that his MPs need to communicate to the people just what his government has achieved. There was an anger and bitterness that I haven't seen in Mr. Modi for a while. Rahul Gandhi, what does one say? This was meant to be his comeback speech. And really from that point of view, purely in terms of his individual growth, one didn't see too much to uh, really believe that Rahul has matured as a political speaker. He still struggles, one gets a sense, in these public speeches. He was meandering, speaking of Niamgiri one moment, Australian diamond mines the next moment, and the UPA's land waiver scheme the third. My sense was that this was meant to be a speech where Rahul was meant to galvanize not just the farmers who were attending the rally at Ram Leela, but also the workers. And I didn't get a sense that the workers really felt that they had a leader who was ready to f have the stomach to take the fight into the opposition camp. There were m in, into the Modi camp. And I, there were moments, yes, flashes where you sense that maybe Rahul is now ready to, uh, to really take charge of the party, but not enough to convince skeptics like me that Rahul Gandhi has really used this opportunity uh, productively. As I often say, Rahul never misses an opportunity to miss an opportunity. Ironically, if this battle was meant to be Chappan ki Chhati versus Chappan ki Chutti, uh, it turned out that it was not Modi versus Rahul as much as Sonia Gandhi who delivered the most passionate speech. At least in her opening line, she spoke of farmer indebtedness, of unseasonal rains, and you got a sense that at least there was a human touch which was lacking to my mind in both what Rahul said and also in what Mr. Modi said. At the end of the day, what's clear is that the land acquisition bill is now the fault line on which politics will be fought. Mr. Modi appears committed to the bill. The Congress and the opposition are seeing this as their Sanjeevni, to use Jairam Ramesh's words, to try and script a comeback. I think the parliament session will become a test case to see whether Mr. Modi has the political will to push through the land acquisition bill or whether the Congress will defiantly try and galvanize the opposition around it. Interesting times ahead. All I can say is that by all means deliver public speeches. But my dear political leaders, do you have to do it on a Sunday? That's it uh, on my video blog today. If you have comments, do write in to rajdeepsardesai.net. Thanks for listening to me.